Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a Tsuyun Tech Smooth 3 firmware upgrade. First off, head, head over to your website and download the uh, firmware. Following which, you would then go and download the CH341 USB driver. This is the uh, application you use to communicate between the gimbal as well as your Mac. Uh, you double click on the installation file and you will then be prompted to um, restart your computer. So let's just run this through. Now once the uh, installation is complete, Click on system information, double confirm under the USB 3 that you have your Zuyin Virtual COM port already installed. So that means your serial port installation is successful. This would enable your gimbal and your Mac to communicate. Scroll over to your Smooth 3 firmware. Under the change log version 1.6, you can see that um, there are bug improvements as well as an improvement in the time lapse and the panoramic mode. So just before you perform the firmware upgrade, now it's time to connect the micro USB to the gimbal and make sure you see a red light behind to indicate a live connection. After which you would then scroll down and look for your Zuyin gimbal tools that you downloaded a while ago. Double click on the uh, software and you would then browse to your firmware that you downloaded double confirm that the uh, USB is open, open up the serial port and then you click on upgrade. Now while the firmware is upgrading, if you look at the gimbal itself, red lights will be flashing in the front and then after a while it will then turn off. This is normal, you can then confirm the firmware version by opening up the application and you're all set and firmware upgrade is uh, complete and right now I am connecting to the gimbal just to see whether the tracking works the Zuyin Tech iOS application is actually pretty decent um, right now it's in follow mode I need to put it in lock mode and I'm gonna be recognizing my face the box works pretty well it tracks pretty decently I would say and after the uh, firmware upgrade it seems to be a little bit more responsive or I maybe it could be my mind playing tricks on me not very sure let me just uh, recognize my face again yeah I think it's pretty okay and for the sake of comparison, I will be putting up two clips, as you can see. On top is version 1.6 and below is version 1.54. Which of the two do you think has uh, is tracking my face a little bit better? It could be version 1.6. Hmm. So I hope some of you found that useful. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, let me know why. And if you haven't subscribed, know what to do and I'll see you in the next one really really soon hey. so yeah uh, that basically concludes the